Hello and welcome to Deliberately Creative. I'm Stephanie and I'm here to do a fun painting. You're not going to be able to see it very well here yet, but I am making an artist trading card on a piece of Fabriano Artistico hot press watercolor paper. It's 300 pounds, so it's almost like painting on cardboard. And I love it because it doesn't warp and buckle. This is for the Art Sherpa ATC Club. And I thought you might like to go along with me. I'm doing a wildflower meadow in front of Mount Rainier in the 1920s style of travel poster. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. I hope that you enjoy this. Sit back and enjoy the music as we go along. I might pop in from time to time and mention something, but I did want to mention that I'm using the Arteza gouache and a random handful of fine to medium brushes to get this in. I might grab a little bit of a uh, watercolor palette to throw the background in really fast just so I don't have to be quite as precious as I put in the gouache. Now the gouache is a lot of fun and it it's the kind of the traditional media that they used for these posters. They have a very um, oh I want to say they have almost a paint by number look to them because when you're painting gouache you're painting sections of colors next to each other and you're not doing a lot of blurring of the lines when you do these little travel poster or big travel poster style. So let's get started and have a little bit of fun playing with the paint. So I am using the 42 color watercolor palette right here and I just picked a random blue that I thought would match the sky blue color that I'm going to use in the gouache. But after doing this I realized I didn't really need to do it. Uh, I was doing a flat wash of the gouache and it completely covers everything that I did here. So it was kind of nice to sort of map out my color idea of where things were going to go for the sky and the mountain, but it's not necessary. Just wanted you to know. So I am having so much fun playing with gouache. I never realized how versatile it is and how much like watercolor and acrylic it is. There's uh, kind of the best of both worlds as far as I'm concerned. I'm not a super transparent watercolor user, so I tend to work with watercolor thicker anyway, so using gouache just makes sense. Now I'm working out how to do this mountain as I'm going along. I live in Washington State. Mount Rainier is the place that I go camping. I use that as inspiration here. And I love the 1920s travel posters for all of the national parks. I think they're so cool. And they are very much like gouache paintings. I don't know if that's what they were painted with, but it makes sense that that's what it could be painted with. I am not an expert with it. I am very much of a novice and sort of figuring things out. I am drawing between layers just so I don't easily pick up the next layer. You can do that and then I keep going. Now for the white here I actually added yellow to it uh, to make it get that slight um, feeling of almost like the sun is going down to the side just a bit. Um, it's not a perfect representation of this mountain, but it gives the feeling of it. And most of this is going to be covered up with a set of silhouette pine trees and fir trees. And then the foreground, I'm going to put in this pretty little summer meadow of flowers. The flowers only bloom for a few weeks on the mountain and on the foot of the mountain. And when they do, it's this riot of color. And it is so, so pretty to see. If you ever get a chance, go to Mount Rainier National Park. During the late July, go up to Paradise, go up to Sunrise, go all the way up 
to White River. It's beautiful. And uh, it's still that rustic national park feeling. There's no towns right on the mountain. You have to go down to the foothills to get to them. So it's it's a lot of fun to play up there and just hiking and walking. The Wonderland Trail goes all around the mountain. There's parts of the Pacific Crest Trail that go up past it. So people can, you know, get out and do really serious backpacking. I am a day hiker. I am not a backpacker, but I do take inspiration from my natural world around me, and I hope you do too. All right, I'm just going to let you keep watching. I am doing this in speed video form because it took me over almost an hour and 20 minutes to do this painting, and I didn't think you wanted to sit here for all of that. Let me know if you want to sit and watch a full-length process video on things like this. I don't have a full process video for this particular painting because I knew I was going to do a speed video, so I didn't talk during it. That's how it goes sometimes. I hope that you're going to enjoy this. I'll catch you at the end.
All right, so we've made it to the end, and I totally love this. I actually had tears in my eyes when I finished because I was so proud of myself making it to the end and getting these flowers put in in the front. These are kind of a lupin type flower. They grow wild in the Northwest. They're very similar, actually in the same family as the Texas Blue Bonnet. A different variety, but very similar to them. And they're gorgeous and they just grow wild on the hillsides. I thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoy this tape peeling part. I I love the look of a clean white border around something like this. It really sells it as that travel poster type look. I hope whoever gets this card in the uh, Artist Trading Card Club with the Art Sherpa really enjoys it. I thank you guys so much. If you like this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment and let me know. Do you have a favorite national monument or national park that you would like to see me try doing this with? And as always, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and remember to go out, do something creative, take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. And I hope to see you back here again really soon. Bye-bye.